To prepare for our egg drop project, let's clarify the expectations of your prototype. We'll also explore how mass and landing material play a role in an egg drop through a virtual lab. The problem that you've been tasked with solving is safely delivering an egg from a distance of five meters down to this landing pad. Now, even at one and a half meters, it's very easy to see this change in momentum. Drop from one and a half meters, the egg accelerates to a stop, therefore experiencing a change in momentum. This impulse is the product of the force applied to the egg over time. In this case, we can see it was a very short amount of time. So we get a big splatter because we get a larger force applied to the egg by the landing pad. We've looked a little bit at how this impulse, this change in momentum, has been applied before. Let's look at our research again. We've discussed how bending your knees can increase the time of a collision, decreasing the average force felt by the human body. The automotive industry has applied this idea to airbags. The change in momentum is the same, but the increased time decreases the force of impact. On a much larger scale, NASA applied this idea to safely deliver the Sojourner Martian rover. A $265 million mission depended on this relationship between force and time. This relationship has even been utilized here on Earth for pure amusement. Tivoli Sky Tower slows riders safely to a stop from freefall. If you want to avoid scrambled eggs, you're going to need to learn from the research process. So you can inform your brainstorming and then develop a prototype that safely delivers the egg from a height of 5 meters down to the landing pad below. Now, your prototype needs to follow a few specific requirements. First and foremost, it's your prototype, your design. We want to see your knowledge being applied to solving this problem, not a pre-made, not someone else's work. That prototype needs to make it easy for us to insert the egg before the drop and then remove the egg after the drop to check if it survived. Your prototype has a maximum mass of one kilogram. That includes the mass of the egg, which is about 0.06-ish kilograms. The dimension of your prototype must be 30 centimeters or within 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. This competition is all about the impact, all about the impulse, that landing, that collision. So no parachutes, no added gases other than air, and no propulsion systems. All these rules can easily be followed as you develop your prototype. And to help you with that, we're going to do a quick online simulation drop. Open the link to the virtual egg drop simulator. Scroll down to the simulator and expand for convenience. Once it loads, click begin activity. This will open the experimental conditions. Your prototype needs to survive a five meter drop. So all drops will be from five meters. One experiment will have you change the mass of the egg. The other will have you manipulate the egg's landing surface or material. When your settings match the lab worksheet, click on Run Trial. Click the Drop Egg button to drop a digital egg from a digital chicken. Once the egg drops, you'll be given pertinent data about the fall and collision to add to your lab worksheet. You can either repeat the animation or change the conditions to match the next trial on your lab worksheet. Once you've changed the conditions, click the Run Trial button followed by Drop Egg button again to collect the next set of data. According to Newton's third law, for every action there's an equal but opposite reaction. So when the egg hits the landing pad, the landing pad hits back with the same amount of force. Now all the eggs are going to hit the ground at the same velocity, but the mass changes the impulse. A bigger mass is going to require a bigger impulse, a bigger change in momentum to come to a stop. Now we can spread out that force. If it just hits the platform, short amount of time, big amount of force acting on that egg. But if we change the materials that it's landing on, cotton balls are going to slow down the landing increased time, decreased force. So even though it hit the landing pad, the cushioning effect of the cotton slowed the egg down and led to its survival. 
We can try the same thing with a material common and fun bubble wrap. It's going to cushion the landing. Increased time, decreased force. It cushioned it so well it bounced right out of the uh, pile of bubble wrap. That increased time, decreased force can be affected by the materials, by the design of your egg drop prototype. So use all this research when you start brainstorming and building your prototype.